All right, today for math, we are going to regroup when we subtract, just like we did in the game yesterday. Don't forget, always start with a ones place. Here's the number 25. Let's practice regrouping on paper before we start subtracting. So you're supposed to read this two tens and five ones. So two, 25 is the same thing as two tens. I'm not changing anything. I'm not adding anything. I'm not subtracting anything. It is exactly the same thing as two tens and five ones. Okay? Two tens, five ones, same thing. Two tens, five ones. There. Now it's the exact same thing. Now we're going to regroup. So if you can just take a 10, okay? You're going to take a 10 and you're going to move it over to the ones place. What happens if you take one of these 10s and you move it over? It becomes 110. And what happens if you move one rod over here, 110 rod over here? Then you have 110 rod and five ones. So, 110 and 15 ones is actually the same exact thing as two tens and five ones. Let me show you in a picture form. So we have 22 rods, two 10 rods, 20, and then five over here. I'm going to take these apart just so that they are ones. 25. Two tens, five ones. Now, if I just regroup, I just move this over here. Let's pretend I'm going to need more ones. And I take these apart on the ones place. I didn't take away anything, and I didn't add anything. I just simply regrouped. I just moved it over. So now I have 110 and 15 ones. But that's the same thing as 25. If I went ahead and counted all of these, it would still be 25 because I didn't take anything away and I didn't add anything. I just regrouped. So 110, another 10 right here, and 5. 10, 25, 25. All I did was simply regroup. So let's practice. Take 39, for example. Say that in tens and ones. You should say ten, three tens and nine ones. Okay, now we're going to regroup. So the same thing as three tens and nine ones, if you regroup, would be, so move one of these ten rods over, two tens, And what would happen if you move one of the rods over? If you moved it right over here, it would become 19 ones. Because a 10 that we regrouped plus 9 equals 19. 10 and 9 is 19. Okay? So 39 is actually the same exact thing as two 10s and 19 ones. So now let's go ahead and subtract with regrouping. 24, so I have 24. <clears throat> That's all I have. I only have 24. I don't have 27. I don't have 23. I have 24. And I'm going to subtract, which means take away, eat it up, throw it out. I'm going to take 7 from there. This number doesn't mean I have seven anythings. I don't have seven. What I am doing is an action. I'm going to subtract seven from the 24. Okay? So this number doesn't exist. It's an action that I do to the 24. So I'm going to go ahead and take seven from the 24. Remember this is the tens place. Remember this is the ones place. And always start with the ones place. We've got to subtract from the ones place first. So I'm going to take my seven from the four ones. What do you notice? Are there enough ones? 
for me to subtract. No. Which is why we're going to have to regroup. So let's regroup. Let's take one of these tens. So here's a picture of what I'm talking about. Two ten rods. Let's take one of these and just simply move it over to the ones place, which we call regroup. So you have two here. We're gonna take we're gonna leave one like that. We're gonna leave one right here. Okay, we're leaving one, and we're gonna take the other one. And we're going to simply put it right in front of the ones place, like this. Putting it right next to the four. So what's 10 and 4? Four? 14. Do you see a 14 here? You should see it. Right here. You'll see it looks like a 14. Okay? So now we have 14 ones. 1 10 and 14 ones. Pretty much the same thing as 24, right? 10, 24. 24. So now we can take 7 from the 14. We have enough to take 7 away. 14 take away 7 is 7. And we're done with the 1's place. Now do the 10's place. We have one 10 here. And we have no 10's that we're going to take away, eat, throw out. So we only have we still have one ten left over. Now we have to think and connect this to a real, real um, situation. If we had 24 kids in our class and seven went home early, we would have less kids in the class. We would have 17 kids. Here's another example that looks a little different. I'm giving you the problem 40 and we're going to take away 18. Here's the action. We're actually going to take out 18 from this 14 and find out what the answer is. So what you need to do is you need to rewrite this problem, write this exact same problem by saying out loud, four tens and zero ones. Now we're going to take away one, eight, one ten from the 40 and eight ones from the 40. So you need to say that out loud as you write the problem just like this. You want to write the ones and you want to line up the ones in the ones column and line up the tens in the tens column. Now let's subtract the eight ones from the ones place. Ah, uh, there's no one here. So what do you think we should do? Regroup. Let's leave three tens here and regroup one of the tens over to the ones place. So here's the one rod that we're moving over to the ones place. One ten and no tens make ten. So can you take eight from ten now? Yeah. If you take eight from ten, you've got two. And now we can move on to the tens place. Take one ten from three tens, and you've got two tens. Now I want you to notice that 40, let's imagine like 40 eggs, and 18 of them get eaten. We should ha definitely have less. And 18 is almost a 20. Did you guys know that? 18? Just, it's so close to the number 20. And 40 is like 20 plus 20. So if you take something that's almost 20 away, you should definitely have something around the 20s that is left over. All right, I think you're ready to try this on your own. Make sure to talk through this and say the tens place and the ones place out loud. And always start with the ones place.